Oh, and look, all my, it's whittled self over here on the edge. It's the, it's the karate kid on 4K, just hanging out here. I think someone like just had it in their hands like, nah, pass. It's kind of hilarious. Anyway, pass. All right, here we are at Best Buy. Check it out, y'all. Now, the good thing is we're gonna go in there today and uh, I got my daughter a new iPad for Christmas. So, of course, she uh, donated her old one to me, which we're gonna go trade in, get some store credit, and uh, hopefully spend it inside. So, let's get going. All right, there it is, the coveted iPad from my daughter. I'm cashing that sucker in. Time to scan my thumb, make sure I'm not some alien. Here it is, gift card, 95 bucks, y'all. Let's go shopping. Uh, here we go on the new release shelf. We got the new Ghostbusters here. Got the Ghostbusters uh, on Blu-ray and 4K for $27.99. Don't see any Steelbook here. Uh, or of course that nice big Ghostbusters set. And then the combo Blu-ray of all three movies. Now I already have these two on Blu-ray and I picked up the first one in 4K during their Christmas, you know, $10 sale. So really, I only need Ghostbusters Afterlife. So, but it is top dollar right now at 28 bucks. So I think I'm gonna wait for that to come down in price just a little bit before I snag that. So uh, check this out down here. We got some little Indiana Jones steel book. Yeah, there they go, man. For a uh, hundred bucks still. So uh, I actually have the normal 4K, so I don't need the steel books, but you know, it's kind of cool that they still got one of these in stock. Still got a bunch of these Halloween kills here on uh, Blu-ray and 4K. And you know, Halloween kills was okay. The kills were good. The story, <laughs> evil dies tonight. I don't think I'm ready to pay 30 bucks for that tonight. <laughs> so they have, they live down here, but it's a uh, $22.99. And um, you know, the last time I, I saw this, it was at $19.99. So it did get down there in price once before. So think if I hold out you know say three bucks you know that's a good thing but I'm definitely gonna snag this at some point point. and they still have a bunch of these steel books for Hacksaw Ridge at $22.99 with the slip cover uh, they still have lots of copies of juice on 4k and uh, two two copies left of Requiem for a Dream on Steelbook so once again like I said in my last video I will leave that here for someone who loves the movie as much as the Steelbook but that's not me so peace out there's a rack over here with just some of the blu-rays we're gonna check out I think I see some comedies down here. We got uh, Super Bad and Step Brothers for six bucks. It's a pretty good deal. Yeah, looks like we're going to be picking up Super Bad, y'all. That's a good. That's a good comedy. I don't have that in my collection, so I think I'm going to pick that up today. Mm -hmm. Oh, and look, all my it's whittled self over here on the edge. It's the karate kid on 4K, just hanging out here. I think someone like just had it in their hands, like, nah, pass. It's kind of hilarious. Anyway pass well i did it i went in there and i traded in my daughter's ipad because uh like i said in the beginning uh she got a brand new one for christmas loves it made sure uh so i erased it and traded in her old one got 95 bucks on a gift card so um you know, for my channel, I'm going to spend that 95 on that gift card. Uh, whenever I come back and find something I like, I'm going to use it. So, of course, today I got to use it. Ba -ba Bam! It's only a $5.99, I think it was, for super bad. Did not have this in my, in my collection. And uh, it's hilarious, you know. Uh, we talk about how there's just not any really great comedies coming out lately. Uh, it's like we've sort of missed the heyday of really good comedies. And this, I feel, is one of the better current comedies that we've had in a long time. Um, so yeah, so I had to pick up super bad and look, it's, it's a two disc unrated edition. So, you know, it probably draws, you know, more pictures of dicks at the end of this movie. If you've seen the end of this movie, you know what I'm talking about. Oh my God, it's hilarious. Anyway, so, um, yeah, super bad. So we got this, that's all good. Now we're going to move on to my uh, local thrift shop, Wimby's, where I, that's where I keep scoring. I think all the golden deals, that's where I got the proposal last week and I watched it just a couple nights ago and it was outstanding. If you want a great comedy, that was like back in... 2013 so again it's been a while since we've had good comedies and that thing was hilarious if you haven't seen it i was laughing out loud so many times watching the proposal i will totally watch that again that was you know for finding it at the thrift store for four bucks was a win so because of that we're gonna head on back and see if there's any extra nugget laying around and then uh, probably call it a day so let's go all right we are now here at my uh 
little shopping center that has my local thrift store Wimby's that I tend to really enjoy going into. So there it is right up ahead. So let's go in there and uh, see if they got any goodies for us today like they did last week with the proposal. Okay, first we're gonna browse through this rack here up front. Got this uh, nice comedy here. I've never seen this. Check out the <laughs> lenticular on this. Date night, Steve Carell, Tina Fey. Could be. What else we got down here? Wedding Crashers. I actually don't have this in my collection yet. That's a, that could be a winner. And then uh, Karate Kid. Yeah, it's the one with uh, Will Smith's kid and Jackie Chan. Haven't seen that. And here is the magic tub as I slide it out. This is the one where I found the proposal in the other week. So let's sort of scan through this and see what we can come up with. Seeing a lot of stuff I already have though. Little row two here. Got 21 Jump Street at a uh, swap meet. So don't need that. That's a great film. Morning Glory. Uh, I just picked that up recently from Big Lot. So I'm going to have to get around to seeing that. That looks pretty funny. Yeah, it looks like a lot of the same titles. So I think I've tapped out the tub, y'all. Now here, look at all these DVDs, man. Uh, if you are still a collector of DVDs, man, this is... This is a, a win for you type of collectors, you know, because you can really, really increase your collection for a fraction of the price. Look, there it is, super bad. I just found this, you know, for $5.99 on Blu-ray at uh, Best Buy, so don't need that. Ah, here's another Sandra Bullock romantic comedy. It's going to be hard to top the proposal, though, so it's uh, Kate Hudson. Good Lord, look at all these meet the fuckers. Somebody unloaded a massive college wedding crashers. Something's got to give. Crash, man. Somebody definitely got rid of a huge stock of something. Yeah, they, they keep their stuff at least organized by uh, genres, which is kind of nice. So, uh, what? Is, roller coaster? Okay. <laughs> okay, I know this is a quote disaster film, but this cannot be that good. Okay, for the guys, let's see what they think guys like. Of course, Kung Fu and action. A little bit of mixed genres in here. I don't think it's, it's like a perfect thing here. But this is yeah, it's a good dude title. Scarface, two disc special edition. It's pretty sweet. What we got here? Chicago, full screen. Uh, I don't think so, full screen. You're not gonna get in my house, never. Ooh. Now, I'm a fan of Cheaper by the Dozen. Uh, I'm trying to remember if I've seen Cheaper by the Dozen 2. The first one is fantastic. I think that belongs on a Blu-ray. So, I may have to pick this up one day. Some oldies here. Let's see what they got. Oh, there's a good old classic there. His Girl Friday. Let's check that out. Come on now. There we go. Every now and then, I find some really good older titles in here. I'm not sure about that one though. Gone with the wind. Look at this. It's got a big old slip on it. It's pretty good condition too. And uh, wait, let's check the top here. Whoa, it is completely brand new. Sealed. All right, we're done here. All right, we're making an impromptu stop here at Goodwill. I don't normally come in here because their supply is just getting smaller and smaller. So let's uh, go ahead and go inside and check it out. All right, time to carve a path. See that section way in the back corner? Yeah, that's their physical media section. As you can tell, that's just one little rack right here. Well, as you can see, they don't have any Blu-rays here. Just a bunch of um, DVDs. Oh, no way. Look at this. That is incredible. These are not on Blu-ray at all. And to get them both in one deal, what a score. Okay, what an impromptu stop at this Goodwill. They rarely have anything, certainly no Blu-rays. And actually the section's even smaller. They used to have a bookshelf on the right. It's now just a bare wall, two shelves at the bottom, totally empty. But look at this, ba-bam, hot shots part one and two. Uh, these are not out on Blu-ray, certainly in America yet. And the discs look fantastic. You know, I popped them off, no scratches, so. <laughs> What a win. I mean, I was not going to come in here, but to have found both of these on DVD for now until the Blu-rays come out, I'm super pumped. So let's keep going. Well, despite all the dogs barking everywhere, I'm going to squeeze into big lots here and see if they got any new titles floating around. 
So let's check it out. Most of this is pretty much the same stock that I've seen here last time I came. So I'm just going to do one quick little browse on this end cap. <laughs> Battle dogs. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> Battleship. All right. Um, so, yeah, I think if something uh, grabs me, I'll, I'll bring it home with me. But, uh, yeah, same old stuff. So, Underworld. Okay, I think I'm done in this section, so probably ready to go. Okay, I was going to leave until I saw sea beasts. <laughs> I mean, look at this thing. This, it's feeding frenzy. It's like a piranha with an attitude. <laughs> what is this movie? I don't know. Three bucks. Anybody seen this movie? Let me know. All right. Having seen Sea Beast, now I see this thing. Creature Features, four feature films, Dead Sea, Robo Croc, Super Tanker, and what? Dracano? Oh, a Dracano, so it's like a volcano dragon. <laughs> uh, these are probably stupid. Okay, so I have to say that the winner for today's shopping is strictly the browsing of the DVDs. I put them all in the front so we can show you. <laughs> Sand Sharks, classic Jaws ripoff. Poker Knight, look at that dude. And of course, Sea Beast. Jack and the Giant Killer. Behemoth. And of course, the Four Creature Double Feature. <laughs> man, this feels like uh, Walmart with these weird titles, but uh, hey man. There you go. Get them. All right, we are done running around for today. That was a lot of fun. Uh, you know, went into Best Buy, a couple of thrift shops, Big Lots, and Goodwill. What? Yeah, so we just <laughs> jumped into any place that sounded cheap. Because uh, if you've seen any of my recent videos, I just got a whole new roof put on my house. So I'm shopping for deals now, guys. Probably not going to buy anything like day and date for a while. But uh, in fact, everything I bought today probably adds up to one, you know, brand new steelbook. So uh, let's just go down the list again, shall we? Okay, first, we remember this from Best Buy. I got super bad, so that was pretty dope. Uh, and then at the uh, thrift store, uh, Wimby's, where I seem to be scoring some nice stuff lately, I grabbed the Wedding Crashers, an excellent uh, comedy there. Uh, and check out this uh, date night. So I grabbed this. I figured the proposal was a good hit. And with Tina Fey and, you know, Steve Carell, I've never seen this. So I'm hoping this is another score. But check out that little lenticular. They're all dressed looking good. And then they're just beat up to all hell. Uh, and this came with it. So, you know, that's that's a pretty nice little, uh, you know, slip cover there. Uh, and then I snagged a couple of uh, DVDs so that I could consolidate it into the Blu-ray I just bought at the same store. So I snagged Stealth. With Jamie Foxx. Uh, I don't know if you guys have seen this, but it's a pretty fun action film. Uh, and this has got your DVD plus a, a special bonus disc. CD even says just, just right there, bonus disc. Uh, so we're going to consolidate that into my Blu-ray. So I got, because there wasn't a ton of stuff on the Blu-ray. So I'm hoping this is going to score me up some good old bonus features. Uh, I am planning on a disaster month coming up soon and this looks like a hot mess so I wasn't going to spend a lot of money on the blu-ray I feel like this is going to be a one and done watch so I got roller coaster what I know this is gonna suck I mean seriously a disaster film wrapped around a roller coaster it sounds absolutely absurd and worth a dollar so I snagged that uh, and then two really excellent snags at the end in the other um, thrift store I found dread for $4, the full-on Blu-ray of Dread. Disc looks perfect condition. Um, I've been wanting to get this for a while. It's a, it was a fun film. I, like, I probably don't need the 4K. I don't, I don't even know if this has got a 4K yet, but for now, $4 for the Blu-ray in perfect condition. That is a win. And then at the, at the Goodwill, <laughs> got the two Hot Shots movies. I am pumped about this guy. So now I've got these two movies. I've got Top Secret, all these great sort of slapstick spoofy comedies uh, that aren't on Blu-ray yet, although I think I hear Top Secret's coming. But uh, in, in in the waiting period, I, I have this. This is great, man, because I've been going into Wimby's and they've had two copies of Hot Shots, still have them, that are water damaged, the discs are all scratched. This looks brand new. So that is 
very, very happy. That was, I was not going to go in there. And then finally, I jumped in here to, uh, to Big Lots and I told myself, Huck, do not leave the store unless you buy something with the name Battle in the title. <laughs> so of course, I got Battleship because it's got Battle in the title. And I thought, well, I'm, I guess I'm all done. Hold on now. Battle Dogs. All right, look, I know last year I bought Wolf Cop on a whim, and that was kind of a hilarious watch. So who knows? Battle Dogs, maybe I'll wait and hold out till October, and this will this will be, be my Wolf Cop of 2022. Anybody seen Battle Dogs? I don't know. It just looked kind of hilarious. You know, I, so check this out. And they say things like, um, uh, uh, action, action-packed creature thriller in the tradition of Aliens and District 9. That's a, a, that, those are some those are some powerful words, so I'm going to hold them to that. All right, that's going to do it for today, guys. That is the run. Thank you so much for checking out this video. If you are new to my channel, again, get on down there and hit like and subscribe. Slap those buttons around. Show them who's boss. Uh, and then come check me out on all my so I'm talking about. Come check me out on all my social media platforms. I'm on uh, TikTok, Letterboxd, Instagram. Just come on over there, Facebook, and uh, throw me a message, and, and we'll get some chats going. That'd really be awesome. So uh, hey, man! Again, thanks for checking out my channel. I really appreciate it. So until next time, I'll catch you later.